sort of house do you have, have left? Two bedroom brick built? Yeah, brick built. Uh, some uh, cement with uh, sand yeah. mixture. Now, in uh, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. the there was a beer like Primus, I can't remember what it was called, but a lot of the locals drank a, a maize beer. Maize? Uh, yeah. It was a very strange beer. Yeah. Is there a, a Burundian brew that people drink other than Primus? Uh. Primus uh, is for me. I drink drink Primus, but uh, in countryside, eh, people they drink another local beer made in uh, Bana. Okay. Not made in manufacturing, but uh, they made themselves. Yes, that's from, what I meant. Yeah. What's that called? Uguagua. 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 Yeah. Uh, do you drink beer? Beer? Yes. Primus? Yeah. How much is a bottle of Primus in the local market? It's, uh, it's $1.5 dollars. Sorry? One mid cents on from $1,500. What for you? Yeah. When you buy it uh, like here. See? Yeah, they sell them. They sell beer. 1,500 yeah. francs. Yeah. But I guess yesterday you paid the 3,000. Three uh, in the hotel it's 4,200. It is very, very expensive. Yeah. Yes, it is. So I didn't drink very much Primus. What about Havana? 3,000? Uh, sorry. Havana. I didn't have any. No Primus. Just Primus. Oh, and Amstel. Oh. So that was 5,000. And that's the local church. Yeah. What's the predominant religion here? The main religion? Uh, Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic. Yeah. And do people go to Mass on Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. We used to come behind the houses here. Yeah. There was somewhere a flat some uh, gazon, see gazon, small herbs. Huh? Uh, uh, gazon. Gazon. You know gazon? No. Garden, sorry. Oh, God. Like this. Oh, see? Yeah. We had a wide place for picnic. With the uh, wind coming from Lake Tanganyika. Every Sunday, many people were coming from Bujumbura to, for that picnic. Yeah. Now with these displaced people, they build the uh, huge small houses. Build their small houses, shelters. Yeah, yeah shelters. And most cooking here, most cooking is on uh, wood fire. Yes. And ch charcoal. No, charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of charcoal. Stuff on his bicycle. <laughs> that is amazing. That's 
is so epic. You know when they're coming from the mountains, when they're going to sail, those uh, the bananas are coming from coming from the mountains. Mountains, yeah. So how far do they cycle with the bananas? Like uh, 35 kilometers. Wow. They sometimes reach 60 kilometers per year as speed. Yeah. <laughs> with bananas on with the back. With bananas. And they have 60 to. 60 kilometers an yeah. hour with bananas on the back. Yeah. And they have to. Oh my they, they're, God. There are a lot of corners. You can't, you can't believe it when you see them. <laughs> my God. And uh, to return, because it is a very hilly. It's a mountain. To exactly. return, they wait for trucks. Yeah. Like that one. Okay, yeah. And then they hold it. They hold it and then pull them. I've done that. That's dangerous. The mountain? Oh, I know. It's yeah. dangerous. The truck driver puts the brakes on, swerves. Yeah. But the only way they can return. Yeah, young men will take risks. Yeah. But, Cycling at 60 kilometers an hour with bananas on the back, that is amazing. Yeah, with corner. With corner. Yeah. That is just amazing. <laughs> with chuckles. So would you say that people in Burundi now are reasonably happy and settled or is the hangover of the war still very strong? Is the effect of the war still very strong? Uh, now they are thinking about uh, the coming elections which are due to be in 2015. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd say that uh, things are like this. People frightened it may go back to violence. No, 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 not at all. Not as it used to be. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. Thank God for that. Yeah. How old are you now, Alan? I'm uh, 39. 39. From the Tanefu. So for most of the beginning of your life there was a war? Yeah, since uh, 93. I was 20. Yeah. When we drove up to Budabudu the other day, found a sponsor among our NGOs yeah. so they build them for returnees or this has been displaced okay see this place here this place this area yeah In is this displaced persons here here yeah uh, Banyamulenge I don't know if you heard about uh, it was a, a refugee camp for Banyamulenge who were coming from DRC in 2002. Robbers attacked them during the night. Who he, sorry, who attacked them? The robbers. Yeah. They attacked them during the night. They burned everything. And uh, how many people were killed? I think 
taking a, a look at this area here. It's so flat. Yeah. And these.